So it's one time me and my friends, we were drinking, you know, and we were drunk in my trailer court. And, you know, usually every Halloween we would go pumpkin smashing. Well, we did that every Halloween, you know, that got boring. We decided to do something a little different. We were actually going to just move the pumpkins around, you know, like put them on different people's porches. And, you know, that way people would come out and realize that, you know, <laughs> their pumpkin was on someone else's porch thinking they stole it or something. And then we found this wagon and we started putting all the pumpkins <laughs> in this wagon and this wagon was so damn loud it had one of those like squeaky wheels on it you know so we're drunk as can be <laughs> we was drunk as can be wheeling a wagon full of pumpkins around it was so noisy it was making that squeaking noise like <laughs> i can't even do the noise like you know like all throughout the trailer court so we're running you know in between the two trailers like behind you know each set of trailers and we we're just grabbing every pumpkin we could throwing it in the wagon <laughs> so our one friend he went to kentucky for vacation and <laughs> you know him and his sister they were really down south country talking like they sounded like they were from kentucky we just called you know we just called my friend in kentucky <laughs> you know we still call him kentucky to this day but but he actually lives in Kentucky now, but so he went to get his whole family went to Kentucky <laughs> and someone got the idea to put the pumpkins on his porch. And so we did. We started taking <laughs> all the pumpkins <laughs> using our wagon and put them in the wagon and wheel them all the way over to his trailer and putting them all in his porch. Now, we did this for quite some time. We probably got every single pumpkin in our trailer court. And it was a pretty big trailer court. And the pumpkins, you know, were piled up against his front door, like, all the way. You know, when they got home from Kentucky, there would have been absolutely no way they could have gotten in the door. And just picture it, you know, they've been in Kentucky for a week, two weeks, ever how long. They come home with all their stuff. You know, they've been on the road for a long time. You know, they're probably as tired as can be, ready to go to bed, get all their stuff in the house. Here they come home, you know, with pumpkins, a huge thing of pumpkins in front of their door. And since they were gone for a week, too, all those pumpkins stayed there. Because you imagine all the people in the trailer court going by that by that trailer like, there's my pumpkin right there, you know, sitting on that porch. Oh, uh, it was just, it was hilarious. You know, my friend did get home from Kentucky. He knew right away it was us. Like, you know, who else would have done it? And uh, <laughs> he wasn't even mad, though. He was, like, congratulating me. Like, he was like, that yeah, was fucking hilarious. Like, my dad was so mad. Oh, I could just imagine. His dad was a dickhead. I'll say it out in the shit, <laughs> you know. And that shit, that shit's pretty funny, gotta admit.